guys and welcome back to my channel it's my favorite time of the month time to open the babe box so if you don't know if you're new to my channel this is the planner subscription box from the honeybee shop and it is honestly like the highlight of my month and i love when it comes when i'm having a bad day because it just instantly like makes me happy and yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and get into it. So this is the Babe Box for the month of February, 2021. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like the serotonin that is, oh my God, okay. So this is what the Babe Box looks like when you get it in the mail. So it comes in like a pouch and this is so useful for just holding everything together, keeping it organized. And once I've used up everything that's in here, I use these pouches to hold like cardstock and just papers and loose things that I have laying around. So it really helps. So I'm just going to pull everything out. Oh my God. Y'all, this pin. I forgot about the pin. Okay. So the theme of this, well, actually, let me, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's pull out the journaling card that explains what the theme is and what's in the box. Okay. Oh my God. Look at it. Okay. So you get two journaling cards in the babe box. This first one says crafty at heart and it's got a beautiful hollow foil. And then this one says, let's get crafty. And then you have two skin tones there, which is amazing. And so on the back of this one, it tells you exactly what is in the box. So the theme is crafty at heart. And in this box, we're gonna get two journaling cards, which we have right here, five pattern papers, two foiled acetate sheets, which are in here, a 10 page sticker book, which is right here, a 15 millimeter foiled washi tape and a 10 millimeter foiled washi tape right here, vinyl foiled die cut pack right here, one of my favorite parts, four foiled alphabet sheets, and that is in the, I believe it, oh no, it's separate. Those are right here, oh my gosh. An acrylic stamp set. I am so excited. An enamel pin. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So pretty. A B6 brush lettering guide. So I am so freaking excited about this. And it's B6 size, which is fantastic because I can pop it right into my B6TN. And I've been really trying to improve my lettering, so I'm I'm really, really excited. And then a brush pen, which I think is awesome that we get a nice brush pen to, ooh, to practice with. Awesome. Ooh, nice. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Okay, so that's everything we're gonna get. So again, here is the other journaling card. So pretty. Where do we begin? Um, let's open this up. So, y'all, look at the the pin backs. Are you kidding? Are you? Do you see it? Okay. That is way too cute. Oh my god. Y'all, this is so much prettier in person. Like, I see it on the monitor and it's not... I mean, you can tell it's beautiful, but like, in person? Yeah. So I've got these nails on, which is making it hard to get these off. I can't do anything with nails. And these are short nails. There we go. I, I'm getting I'm getting better, but I'm a nail biter, so I put on press-ons to prevent me from biting my nails. So Okay. So this is gorgeous, and I'm thinking about where I want to put it, and I have no clue. At this point, there's a lot of places I could put it, and we'll figure it out, but wow. Beautiful. So that's our enamel pin. I am going to throw this away. I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm not going to keep every little scrap, unless it's something I feel like I can repurpose. I'm just going to recycle that. Okay, here's our stamp set. I'm so excited. Our stomp set. I have a really hard time saying stamp. It's stomp um, in my house and it's a long story, but this is my stomp set. So holy 
shit, these are so cute. So I'm really excited because Shan posted on the Honeybee Shop Instagram, like, oh my God, a guide on how to properly use these because I'll admit I'm not very experienced with stamps. So I actually have, um, I have an ink pad that I got at Walmart like last year. I think it was in one of my back to school halls where I got that stamp set, but I don't have an acrylic block to put these on. So I'm going to have to order um, an acrylic block or maybe if I can stop by Walmart or something, I can get one um, to play with these. But I'm definitely going to do a video here on my channel on uh, learning how to stamp because I, yeah, I have like no experience with it. But I'm really, really excited. I think that's a fun thing to include in the box. All right. So the next thing here is these alphabet stickers. Now, I love alphabet stickers. They're always very handy. So these are just plain black, which I love. Ooh, then we have our gold foil. Then we have rose gold foil. Oh, and then we have hollow so 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 pretty so these are fun i haven't done an updated video on my sticker storage i should probably do that but check this out so i already have a honeybee shop section let me see if i yeah, i can put it right in the front check that out <laughs> perfect yeah I'll definitely make a video on that soon. I just, I'm still like working on it. So what is next? Let's do, y'all probably dying to see the sticker book because I am too. Oh my God, this is so pretty. <sighs> All right. Okay, so we have our first page here. Make sure we all can see this really well talk crafty to me so cute let's get crafty you know this really i don't know why this just dawned on me but this reminds me of the um miss maker line from Hap from the happy planner a few years ago except this is way cuter and way more like me so i love it oh my gosh look how cute they are with the paint i definitely need to like gift some of this stuff to my sister-in-law because she She's an artist and she, I mean, she does so many different things, but she does a lot of painting and this just reminded me of her. So I might put together a little package for her. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I love this color story. So perfect for spring too. Look at the, look at these with the pencils. Are you kidding me? And then this page, I always love this page. There's, there's a few on here that I like never use. Um, like the gas, the gas one, I never, like, I don't really track, like, when I get gas. Um, but I do use a lot of them, and I always use the game controller. I always use the little Instagram icon, the camera, the money for payday. It's just, they're just good to have. Oh my god. Oh my god, the little purple one. So cute. And... Let me, let me point something out that I never pointed out before, like on camera, something I appreciate just as a complete dork. Um, I love that this is like a PlayStation controller. Like you can tell it's PlayStation layout with the analog sticks across from each other. And then these are like Xbox controllers. Like I, I just love that you have both. I, I'm sure most people don't notice that, but you know. Um, I love that, that the girls have like lavender, like lilac hair this month. And oh my god, the date covers. <sighs> Gorgeous. Oh my god, look at the cart. So freaking cute. I love, I, I love this. Oh my god, look with the paint. This is so cute. Ooh. Craftiness is happiness. Make mistakes. Maker's gonna make. Let's get crafty. Crafty AF. Love that. Oh, yes. Oh my God. These little tabs. That is so cute. I have no clue how I'm going to use them, but it's so cute. Yeah, I love, I absolutely love that. 
very, very pretty. Let's, I'm gonna save the die cuts for last because there's so many of them. I wanna get into this freaking washi tape. So I always like, I look when she posts previews, but I try not to look at everything because I do want to be surprised. But even the stuff I looked at, I like, I've forgotten at this point. I know some of y'all are cursing me because I ripped a washi seal, but I don't save washi seals unless it's like something I absolutely just love. But it's generally not. Okay. So here's the 15 millimeter one. So cute. We've got a glue gun, scissors, paint, washi, ink, and then it's got little hollow hearts. So cute. I love it. And then our 10 millimeter. Oh my god, it's got the pencils with the the little hollow hearts and stars. I love it. Love it. I can't wait to do a layout with this. Okay, let's... I, I'm dying to look in here. Like, I saw it online, but you know, it's it's different in person. So yeah, like I said, I, I've been trying to improve my handwriting and my lettering. And I definitely have improved, but this is really going to help. At least I hope so. Because i got a long way to go. So, Beginner Brush Lettering Guidebook. Oh, it's got a spot for your name. And we have practice, which is awesome. I love it has, it has the arrows, like showing you which direction to go in. And like, so clearly like when you go up, you do a thin line. And then when you go down, you do a, a thicker line. Yeah, I'm so excited to get into this. Ah, then we have the alphabet. This takes me back to elementary school when we had the paper, like learning how to write. It's very nostalgic words you have planned to do this week I'm not going to read them all but that is uh it's really cool to include things that we're going to want to write in our planners often i yeah i love it and then we just have pages to continue practicing and then we have more practice and it looks like it repeats it's awesome i love it it's a stitched insert I can throw this right in my B6TN and I'll have it with all my other stuff. So when I sit down at night to do like my brain dump journaling and my mood tracking, I can practice this. So this is perfect. I, I love stuff like this. It's very, it's unique. It's, it's awesome. And this pen is actually brown ink, which is really cool. Cause I don't, I don't have a brown lettering pen. So and I do have some black ones. So I think it's really cool that I got brown. I'm not sure if they're all brown, but mine is, and I love it. Okay, now we're gonna get into the papers, which is like, whew, I love the papers. I, I can't decide if the papers or the die cuts are my favorite part of the box every month, but yeah, it's probably about time. So I use these papers to make dividers to decorate my planner. Um, oh my God, look at it. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I can't wait. This is so pretty. Fucking hell. Okay. Now let's look at the papers. Yes. So you've got paint, paint brushes, glue guns, scissors, ink, washi tape. Oh man, that's very pretty. I love the hollow foil. And then we have the pencils. Oh yeah, by the way, they're double-sided, which is, Really important, should probably point that out. Ooh, and then we have these pretty pink stripes on this side. Oh man. Oh, this is so cool. Work in progress, crafty AF. Let's get crafty. Create your own magic. That's cute. Oh, that one is one-sided, which makes sense because you're gonna like cut these up. I'm probably gonna cut these and like laminate them. Maybe use them when making dividers. I don't know yet. But I love them all, and my favorite part is the acetate, because, like, yeah. Definitely going to make some dividers. 
out of these, so stay tuned. Now this backing card for these die cuts, like, that's worthy of keeping. How cute is that? Okay. I'm just gonna go through these one by one. You do get a lot of die cuts and the designs are gonna be very similar um, to the ones that are in the sticker book. They're probably all the same. Sometimes there's some different ones kind of thrown in, but let's just, uh, let's get into it. So here, oh my God, you have a little planner. We have this beautiful girl with the paint all over her and the paintbrush and her hair and the pencil. Very cute. And then we have another skin tone, and then we have these. I love that you get all skin tones. Oh, look how cute these are. Ooh, I love this. Oh, I love that we're getting some smaller ones. This is perfect. I was just thinking today, like, I was decorating my water bottle, and I was like, all my die cuts are really big, and I needed something small. This is perfect. Look at that. So cute, we have the pencils. Ooh, look at this paintbrush. Oh man, the scissors, another little planner, another planner, paint, crafty. We got ink, glue gun, paint, paint. Ooh, make mistakes, I love it. Woohoo, the washi. Let's get crafty. Maker's going to make. Create your own magic. Talk crafty to me. Crafty is work. Work in progress. And craftiness is happiness. Love it. I love these die cuts. Um, I do have a video here on my channel on five ways to use die cuts. If you're interested, I will link that. Uh, and I'll put it in the description as well. Uh, cause I feel like a lot of people get these and they're like, what the heck do I do with all these? So I did share five ways that I use them. Um, and one of those ways, like I just mentioned is decorating my water bottle. And what I love about these in particular, oh, whoops, I totally like missed one, the crafty at heart one. Um, what I love about these in particular is that they are waterproof. And so you can put them on like a water bottle that you're just going to hand wash. Um, don't put them in the dishwasher because it ruins the foil so um yeah any kind of bottle that you're hand washing you can slap these all over it and make it really cute um and yeah i have a whole collection of die cuts and i absolutely love it i just i love having all these you know available to me all right so let's bring it all back together all right y'all so that is this month's bait box from the honeybee shop i am super excited about this i can't wait to start using it this honestly i know it's probably kind of sad but this really is like one of my favorite parts of my month um it brings me a lot of joy it always sparks creativity in me i get the papers and the die cuts and everything it just makes me want to start playing around in my planners and stuff so um like i said i will be doing a video on how i use these stamps since i'm very new to uh using stamps that's something i'm very comfortable with stops as I said earlier um <laughs> and uh I will definitely keep you all updated on how I use this brush lettering guide um be sure to follow me on Instagram I'll be posting in my stories and stuff on kind of my progress with that yeah that that's pretty much it so I'll go ahead and let you guys get out of here um thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up um, subscribe to my channel if you have not. Turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And I will see you guys next time.